All right, what's going on guys? So based on the community poll that I made six hours ago, more people want me to tackle out of time first. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So just a few reminders, especially for those who are new to my channel. If you are having difficulty beating the death ghost in tracks like Crash Cove, Deep Sea Driving, Gingerbread Joyride, Papus Pyramid, Tiger Temple, then by all means, kindly see my Prepare for the Dev Times playlist and maybe it can help you. Leave a like and a comment if ever it helped you or improved you in any way. So, enough with the introductions, let's get into it. Out of time. So, as usual, like what I did in my past guides, I, we are going to divide this track segment by segment. And since this is a relatively short track, we can further... We can further divide it and go over it slowly. So I'm going to let a segment play first and then analyze how many power slides I did, how many boosts, etc. Oh, and we will be utilizing the drift driving style for this guide since I believe most people find it easier to use drift here in out of time because they have a little bit better turn stat. So less, a little less trick when applying the ultra turn tech anyway let's begin okay up until there only and as you can see the moment the moment we start the race i power slide immediately and it is crucial that you do three consecutive perfect turbo boosts here so that you can maintain the sacred fire from the wooden ramp one two three but remember remember to position yourself in such a way that you will also hit the crate to change the location of the wooden ramp because it won't do any good if you jump here because this williams ghost goes through the ramp here and if you decide to go over here instead then he is already ahead by a few seconds jump here as you can see the fire on our cart got bigger we have sf and then oops before the shortcut okay <laughs> So jump at the wooden ramp and then I'll press the user button slightly here just to properly position myself. It's going to be a hard turn to the right. There we go. So you can see with the controller here, I press them for a bit. Accelerate again, then press them again after I landed. By the way, you can choose to continue power sliding, but if you power slide here, I have a feeling that you are going to this ramp, especially when you're using speed. But as drift, um, perhaps you can do one power slide facing the right. But then after that, just do one boost and then immediately switch to left. Power slide to the left boost at least twice i did a good there but that's fine as long as you immediately proceed it with perfect shortcut so since you have already beaten entropy oxide and velos ghost at this point you should have mastered this shortcut already but if you haven't then basically just jump through this ramp which you can see here time your jump there and then the moment you jump, the moment you jump here, the moment you jump at the shortcut, U-turn. Press the U-turn buttons. Look. Break, reverse, and break, reverse, and then to the right. And then before you land, hold the power slide button so that you can immediately go into power sliding and turbo boosting, like what I did here. This is very crucial to maintain your SF. 
perfect boost. You can actually go for a third boost there. But I just decided not to because I might... Instead of landing here, I might land at the far right. So basically... Basically, do not jump at this ramp. And instead, just power slide and turbo boost to get more reserves that way. Switch, and then next path is going to the left. So you power slide to the left. Do as much as turbo boost as possible. I only did two there because I'm going to bump the wall at the left. Switch, switch to the right. Power slide. Okay, so before the next shortcut, let's go back. Alright, here. You can choose to jump early because it's faster that way. And then... So for this curve... Power slide close to the wall. Then hit a perfect boost at least once. Then if you want to continue hugging it, is it important that you press the U-turn buttons? Because if you don't, then you will be going slightly to the left. And as you can see, I pressed the U-turn buttons for a moment there to keep hugging the wall at the right. If you did that and you choose and you choose to continue power sliding, then you'll be positioned somewhere around here. Let me just press the U-turn buttons if you need to keep on hugging the wall. And then, since the next path is going to the left, which is the shortcut, we face the left and power slide to the left. Then do at least two turbo boost. One might also suffice, but I did two just to be sure. The shortcut here. Okay, just a few reminders. For those who are still afraid of the invisible walls, particularly in this shortcut, you no longer need to be afraid because of the latest patch. They finally fixed the invisible walls in out of time. So it's much, much lenient, lenient now. Hmm. Usually, I'll just take the shortcut to the right. I mean, you can see the structure here, correct? You can see the structure here. So before the patch, whenever I go left, my f my flames, the fire from my cart will always disappear since I believe it's due to the invisible wall, but now no longer. And so, <laughs> it is faster to go to the left. So you go there, similar to where William goes. And then the moment you land, you jump, then proceed to turbo boosting, power sliding. Okay, wait. Go back to the shortcut. Alrighty. So for the shortcut, just jump, press the user buttons, like, a, like what you can see here. Position yourself properly, then press the acceleration again, once you are already on the correct path. Then jump to prevent your cart from slowing down this area. Then power slide. You can do three consecutive boosts here. Get as many reserves as possible. And then next path is going to the left. So power slide to the left. Boost. You can do two boosts here. Okay, so this is where the difference between drift and speed comes. Well, in my opinion, anyway. Okay. So the thing here. In this area, you can actually just, after those boosts, you can just, instead of power sliding here, like what I did here, you can opt to just drive straight and prepare for the next turn. I'm sure you'll have enough reserves to do that. But instead here, I power slide it again, just to be safe.
Then for this curve. For this curve. Power slide, turbo boost. As drift, you can choose to continue power sliding and not do it the way I did it. But then again, like what, like what I said earlier, if you choose not to, then you'll be around this area. Basically, you'll have more reserves, but in turn, you will be spending more time. Spending more time in clearing this area. Whereas, if you U-turn there and keep on hugging the wall, save more time. Save more time, but you're a little bit at risk when it comes to fire maintenance. But then again, we already boosted a lot of times before. So it shouldn't be, it shouldn't pose much of a problem. Get to the blue fire pad. If you can, continue hugging the wall. Like what I always say, U-turn. U-turn check is the key for wall hugging. Like what I did here. There we go. There we go. U-turn. U-turn check here. Then jump. But before you land, power slide immediately. So you can get those reserves. Boost. So depending on how you land here, Depending on how you land here, you may be positioned real close to the left side. And if ever you landed that way, then you can just power slide once and then <laughs> reposition yourself again. And then turbo boost twice before the wooden ramp again. Or like what I did in this vid, if you are positioned far from the left wall. Then you can continue power. Then you can do three consecutive turbo boosts. While of course <laughs> pressing the pressing the opposing direction on what your on what your on where your card is facing. Since my card is facing to the left here, then I'll press I'll press right to keep a straight line and not bomb into the wall. Jump to the ramp again. U turn properly position. And then immediately power slide is crucial. <laughs> Try to hug the left corner here. You can power slide twice here. Before the shortcut again. And then the moment you reach here, similar to what we did during the first lap, U turn. Then power slide immediately if possible. If not, then it's okay. You can jump and then jump again to power slide, like what I did here. Power slide immediately. Let's go back. Because sometimes, even though I'm pressing <coughs> power slide button, or maybe I pressed it too late, <coughs> like you wanted to power slide, but instead you jump. Well, you can still adapt if ever. So just jump again and then power slide, going to the ramp like what I said earlier. Do not jump to the ramp, just keep on power sliding and turbo boosting. Build up your reserves. You can do here and then before you land, continue holding. Continue holding the jump button so you can power slide and then switch to the left. Then do more two turbo boosts. Then since we are already at this area, we can no longer do another one, but that's okay. Jump early, and then power slide as usual here, and turbo boost at least once. U-turn, 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 to keep hugging the wall. If you are using speed, and you have blue fire here, you will need to do U-turn. And I'm sure you already know how to do it, guys. Already here, beating the dev times. One, two. So jump here to the, to the left again. U turn. Okay, so this is what I wanted to talk about earlier. So to beat William, you can keep on power sliding to the left here at the main road. Or kind of at the main road. 
I went off for a bit there. Exciting! Well, just for a bit. But the thing is, if you are... If you want to really get far from William, or if you are aiming for something like top 100 in time trials for a lot of time, instead of going here, you keep on hugging the wall here. Now, as you can see here, there's, st there's still space here which you can cut, but instead of power sliding, you'll just be jumping there and you are at risk of losing your reserves. But then again, we, the, only, the only aim of this video is to beat the dev time, so you don't need to go there. But if you want to, have, if you want to further improve your time here in this track, then you can opt to go there. Or you can watch Jordi's out of time world record run as a great reference. So here I boost three times again. Keep my Oops, I failed there. I failed there. But as much as possible, guys, boost at least twice or thrice there. I failed there, but I still have my fire. <laughs> anyway, if ever you fail a boost, don't panic. Just keep going. Don't restart immediately. Do two boost here. Boost again. If you want to. If not, then it's up to you. So again, at this corner, you can keep on... At this curve right here, you can keep on power sliding as drift. Do three consecutive boosts. If not, then U-turn and hug the wall. For speed, you will always need to U-turn. Because your position will be really, really awkward if you, do, if you don't U-turn. It will probably be around at the far right because of the low turn stat okay, so basically that's it for out of time okay so this guy took longer than what i expected but it's just that i really wanted to go over it in depth step by step because people commented that they are having a hard time maintaining maintaining the blue fire here oh wait forgot something um just a quick reminder if ever you lose blue fire around this area, around the curve area, don't restart immediately as you are already near the blue fire pad again to get your momentum back. But, and of course, but of course, um, if ever you lose blue fire here, try to do at least three perfect boosts so that you have a lot of reserves to back you up, okay? Anyway, again, um, so if you like this video, if you learned anything from this video, if it helps you beat the developer time, then kindly leave a like, kindly leave a comment, let me know if it helped you because at least that would inspire me to make more guides. <laughs> and anyway, that's it guys. So I'll see you on my next stream or on my next guide. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching till the end. Much love.
the master of 